Hi, I'm Kate Cotton. I'm going to be showing you how I painted this watercolor still life with mirror. So I'm painting from the photo I took a couple of weeks ago. I set up two cups and two apples and a mirror. And here you can see I'm starting the sketch. I'm sketching on 300 grams watercolor paper, 20 by 20 centimeters. And I'm using 2B pencil to do my sketch. As you can see, I moved everything a little bit up so I can fit in the top of the jug in the reflections as well. So there's less of the blue background and there's more of the reflection. The sketch is now finished and I'm here showing you my masking fluid. So I'm masking out just the white elements in the picture, the reflections on the apples and the highlights on jugs and remember to do the same in the reflection as well. Here are the three colours I've used. Quinacridone red, Indian yellow and cobalt blue. And here are the brushes I've used. Starting with just cobalt blue I'm painting the background here. I'm using more concentrated paint as I go to the left hand side. Here I've added a bit of yellow to my blue and marking out the distant apple and its reflections. Now I've added a little bit of red into, into the mix, into the green mix and painting the, the background cup. Here I'm starting with just red on its own, painting the pink jug in the foreground, adding sometimes a bit of blue and sometimes mixing in that mixture of, of green I already have on my palette. Here I dropped a little bit of um, red mix with yellow. Now I'm mixing the colour for the apple, so I'm basically I'm using quinacridone red and yellow. And I'm covering all the apple and reflection at once. Here I'm dropping a bit of yellow into the mix and then as you can see here I'm lifting up some paint so I have a lighter colour at the bottom. Painting reflection of the cup in the, in the distance. And now starting off on the background. So the background is the mixture of the three colours. I'm, I didn't use any other colours in this um, demo. So you can see I'm adding more blue while I come forward. And then just, just adding loads of water and just finishing the, the whole background. Now mixing yellow and adding a little bit of strip of yellow at the background. I quite like it for the composition and dropping in some blue in a few places. Here I'm drying out the layer and now I'm starting working back on on dry. So I'm doing the same washes as before on the background cup. Um, yellow, red and blue with most of it is red. Um, I'm doing the inside of the cups as well this time. And now I'm mixing color for the handles. So this is the three colors again with most of it is blue. I'm painting over the pink jug again, just using a more concentrated paint this time, a bit more concentrated pink and sometimes adding uh, blue and as you can see I'm mixing a little bit of yellow as well. Here I'm dropping a bit of blue into the reflection and the jug itself and um, painting the reflection of the handle. Darkening the inside of the jug again 
and its reflection. Here I'm going over the apple again, just mixing a quinacridone red and uh, just adding a bit of yellow. Remember to this time just preserve some parts so they are lighter in color. Here I'm, I added a little bit more blue into the mix and just uh, um, painted it into the wet. And continuing the same thing for the background and just more concentrated, just cobbled blue on its own. Here I've painted the reflection of the cup in the distance and a little bit of a um, few darker touches here and there and then dry the layer. Here I painted again the background apple and mixing colors now for really dark doing the darks in the apple part. So to mix that color I used the three uh, colors, um, all the three colors with mostly blue and red. Here I'm darkening the left side of the jug again with the mixture of red, yellow and tiny bit of blue and I'm mixing three primary colors to go over the cup to some highlights and then using the same three primary colors but very little of water to mix black. After drying the layer I'm removing the mask from but just rubbing it off and uh, make sure all of it is gone. Here I'm adding um, dots on the jug, just um, by using Chinese white on its own. In, if you don't have white in watercolor, that's fine. You can just leave it out. I think this still life stands on its own without those dots. Um, make, uh, just remember that when this dries out, it's not going to be as, as intensive. It's going to be actually much paler. And here you can see the finished watercolor. Thanks very much for watching and hope you enjoyed it. I hope you give it a go as well.